Back in the Level 1 class, in the Audio Basics chapter, we mentioned that sending data across a network isn't just about the size of the data you need to move. There is also the network overhead to get it there. And we compared this to a shipping company. A shipping company is not interested in the size and the weight of the object that you're interested in transporting. They need to know the size and the weight of the entire carton, with all the packing material and everything. Now for video, these differences don't impact as much because video signals are pretty large. A network packet's maximum size is about 1.5 kilobit. A single frame of video is much larger than that, so we obviously have to break a single frame into pieces and send that across the network. When we make a Dante video flow, a single video stream will occupy the flow all by itself. But audio data is much smaller. The core overhead of a network packet is about 40 bytes. And of course we have to add other data, like a timestamp, so we know when this plays out. If we only sent one 24-bit digital word in the network packet, well that's only three bytes of data. Compared to the 40 bytes in the header plus timestamps and everything, that's certainly less than 10% of the bandwidth being used to move audio. That seems horribly inefficient. I think we've all had the experience when we order something small from an online retailer, like say an SD card, and yet it comes in this huge box. We stand there in disbelief thinking there's got to be a better way. So when we send audio across the network, we group channels together. Now this is similar to buying a AA battery. You'll probably find it difficult to go to the store and buy just one. They'll start around a four pack. And that's the way it'll work with audio as well. When you send an audio stream by unicast, it's automatically set up with four channels. So let's suppose I've got this DSP and it's gonna send signal to two different amplifiers. One of them is four channels wide, the other is eight. The moment I subscribe one channel, a four channel stream is established. The channel I requested is loaded in and the others are sent as blank. As I subscribe more channels from the DSP to the amplifier, they will simply fill the unused channels in this stream. Now, once I get to the fifth channel, we're out of space, right? So we'll establish another four channel stream with one channel in it. And if you keep going, you'll fill up the unused channels in that stream as well. When I want to transmit to the second amplifier, I have to create another flow. When I make my first subscription, the device establishes a four channel flow. The first channel is populated, the rest are blank. And as I create the other subscriptions, they fill in the unused slots. Now Unicast is the default behavior. However, if these two amplifiers were receiving the same signals, we could change this to multicast. When we send channels by multicast, we can bundle audio in an eight channel stream. And of course, once I've transmitted these signals as multicast, it can go to as many destinations as I want. And interestingly, you could look at that four channel amplifier and say, well, wait a minute, I only need four channels here. The channels it's looking for are in that eight channel stream. It will pick the channels it needs and ignore the rest. This was a clip from the Dante Certification Program. To learn more, go to audinate.com slash certify.